Yeah, uh, Victor and Braden, I'd get you both perspectives on this. What do you want to grab from this game and repeat in game four? What, what would you like to, to see that you, you know, come away with out of this one and bring it into game four? I think it's a lot of things. I think we were, you know, pushing the play. I think we were, uh, you know, a lot better offensively. We were winning our battles, you know, taking a hot turn net and creating some havoc and, you know, it's a lot of things that we did well. It didn't go our way tonight, and, uh, you know, we'll bring the same mentality going into the next game. You know, I like our chances. Yeah, I agree with Eddie. Everything he said, I liked our compete. That's that's what we got to bring next one. Ed and Cena. To, to both of you guys, what do you think worked on the power play tonight um, compared to maybe, you know, the first two games when there really weren't many opportunities out there? I think we executed our breakouts. We, we did some unreal plays in the zone, and you know we got set up, and uh, you know we we put together some some passing plays, and uh, we're able to find some soft spots, and uh, you know that's what was clicking for us today, and also a huge momentum shift for us in the game, being down to nothing and getting two power play goals. So uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a good feeling. Joe Smith. Victor, you said the other day you try to read the, the game or see when you can get up to play or not. It's like you're really active offensively tonight. What do you kind of see that like you kind of to be so aggressive and, and be part of that? Yeah, like you said, you got to make those reads. And, you know, I had some opportunities today. And, you know, you'd like to go back in time and, you know, be, do a little bit better on the chances. But, uh, you know, I had good legs today, if I'd like, and uh, created some opportunities. But, uh like I said, I like to compete and uh, like the way we're doing things in, in the offensive zone. And, you know, we created a lot of chances. So uh, we just keep going and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, a different result next game. Eric Erlinson. Yeah, for either of you guys, just how hard is it to see a, a game decided on a, on a power play goal in overtime? I mean, I mean, we had our chance. We didn't score on ours. They had theirs. They capitalized. That's kind of what it comes down to. Our PK has been so good. Um, this year in this playoffs. Um, but yeah, they they scored on theirs. We missed on ours. That's how it goes on the next one. Larry Hirsch. Gentlemen, just a question on, on uh, uh, do you believe uh, in the old in the old times or several years ago, uh, they let the players decide the game when it gets to that point of overtime? Um the referee gave you an indication by calling the penalty at the end of the third period. Um, but do you feel that, would you feel that with the exception of mayhem or something like that, um, should the players decide this game? I think and, not on, and not on a power play. Well, it's easy to say now. And, uh, you know, the refs cause what they think is, is a penalty. And, uh, you know, we just have to live with that and, you know, fight through it. And like Pointer said, they capitalized on theirs. We we did not, but uh, at the end of the day, it's a hockey game. And, you know, the referees are not out there to, to get anyone. They're out there to do their job. And, you know, we're not going to look for excuses. We uh, we liked our game today and we're looking forward to the next one. Dan Rosen. You guys both seem very measured. Playoff losses are hard to take. Overtime losses are in the playoffs are even harder to take sometimes, but the emotional response to a game like this, what's appropriate for you guys as you think about game four? I mean, it, you know, how, and how much does experience play a role in this? Yeah. You know, we've, we've been in spots like this before and, um, you know, we're, we played a good game. I think it might be different if we, if we felt like we didn't play a good game and, and they won, but I think, you know, for the most part, we're pretty, pretty happy with the way we played. Obviously, there's things you can clean up, things you can watch, and, and uh, hopefully do better next game. But for the most part, I, I liked our game. I liked our compete. Um, you know, give Carolina credit. They played hard as well. They got this one. Um, you know, we got to be sharp for the next one. Hey, John, what's your overall feeling leaving this game? I think you guys mentioned how much they liked their compete and liked a lot of things you guys did. But, you know, still like a chance to kind of take a 3 0 lead here, um, slip away there. It's a seven-game series, Joe. Uh, Want to see growth in your team? We played well. Bottom line is we didn't win. But a lot of good things happened. We had our chances. We can't complain. Um, you know, our, we can't sit here and say our power play didn't come up big. They scored two big goals for us, and um, they just got the last one. And so 
uh, I mean, probably what the players said is right. And um, it's what makes best of seven series fun. They, they rarely are, go down in sweeps. And they're like, when you get to the final eight, like they're a hell of a team. And we did pretty much everything we wanted to do, except for get one more goal than them. And uh, <clears throat> so come back with that effort again and again and again. And um, I can't ask for more. Ed and Cena. <clears throat> John, what did, what did you like about the power play tonight? Um, obviously, like you said, scored two goals, um, especially given, you know, kind of what, uh, you know, what we saw in the first couple games in terms of just not getting many shots. Uh, they've adjusted. They're, they're moving pucks and, you know, we can deal with the, they know what they're to expect now and you can see what we can do with it. And that's why the, the PP has been great in, in the playoffs so far. And, you know, even at the, at the end, um, I mean, couldn't ask for better luck. So just, <laughs> they didn't go in the net. So power play is great. <clears throat> Dan Rosen. John, in a, in a weird way, you lose, but was this your best game of the three so far? I don't know. Like, if you're in a seven-game series and you play unbelievable game seven and you say that's your best game of the series, or if you're in game seven and you don't play very well but you win the game, is that your best game of the series? You know, I don't know. You're in game three. <laughs> in the end, you're, you're, the goal is to win the game. Um, and you want to play well uh, doing it, but like we've we've had a pretty good series here. I just I think our team's gotten better every every, every single game, and that's what I like. Um, so if we keep limiting you know, the chances they get, and and I think our plan is we like what's going on. Our team's getting better. Um, we just got to keep going. So you, you can't hang your head on these. You, you just got to turn the page and go to the next one. Uh, the playoffs are big damn roller coaster, and uh, uh, you can't get too excited when you're high. You can't get too low when it's low, and you just got to keep trusting your process. And our guys have done a hell of a job doing that, and expect they'll do it again. Eric Erlinson, how important was it to kind of establish zone time tonight? You didn't have a ton of zone time in the first few games, but to kind of create and you know get your forecheck going. Yeah, we just we just got to keep leaning on them. And we, I felt we got stronger and, um, but uh, you know, I don't know what's going on in their head. They came back and, and or ended up winning the game. So, um, as I said, that's the goal, but a lot of the things we put in place, the players implemented, I thought they did a hell of a job. We just, again, fell one short. Larry Hirsch. John, um, my regards passed along from Stan Fischler to you. I wanted, wanted to say hello. Oh. <laughs> Um, Love John, me. in the next game, do you, when you look at the film, um, when you look at that neutral zone, uh, there were there were maybe three, four, five odd man rushes by uh, Carolina, given they're a very fast team and everything like that. Uh, one goal was scored on a breakaway. Yeah, do you want to tighten that that neutral zone up a little bit? Yeah, we've been pretty good at that. Like the it was a heck of a play they made. We um, to you know, to tip that right on the tape. I mean, he, I don't know how many times he's going to do that. So give them credit for making one heck of a play under pressure. But uh, no, that hasn't, that's, we've been fine with that. Um, the odd man rushes don't start in the neutral zone. They start in the offensive zone. That's what you have to clean up um, coming back. So you're right in the sense there are some things we need to, to be a little better at, but it really wasn't too much of our neutral zone. John, <clears throat> John, is a penalty a penalty no matter when it happens in a game or should the threshold be higher in overtime? When you get up in the morning and you look at the box score and under penalties, whatever is listed there is a penalty. And uh, it's what the refs call on the ice. And you can disagree with them or agree with them, whatever you like. Um, in the record books, all these penalties today are going to be called penalties, whether you agree with them or not. So um, you got to, you know, when you get your chances in the power play, you got to score on them. And when you 
are down, you got to try and kill them off. And uh, did that, you know, really affect the game? Yeah, it was the overtime winner was on the power play, but we've done a pretty d darn good job against them. And, um, you know, it took a screen tip, <clears throat> the one to squeeze through. So, um, but, you know, to answer your question about the threshold, no, I think the playoffs are a different beast, but I don't think it should change just because the game gets to overtime. If it's a penalty, it's a penalty. The difference, the big thing is, is it, was it actually a penalty? And uh, you want consistency from the refs, and we were getting it, so I've got no complaints. We'll do one more, Dan Rosen. John, was there any adjustment that needed to be made that you guys did make or still have to make with Morazic as opposed to Nadelkovic in net? Uh, no, I mean, I think, uh, Nadalkovic, he can, he comes out and plays the puck probably a lot more than, uh, Mrazek does, but I mean, we've seen Mrazek for years. Um, so he's, he's very familiar with this building playing us in the playoffs, you know, with his days in Detroit. And so, uh, no, we've, we got a good book on him, but he, you know, he was, uh, he was rested. So he had, uh, he had a pretty good game tonight.